But first, breaking news. A settlement tentatively reached in the ongoing school bus driver strike in Providence. The union's business agent confirming a deal was reached hours ago. Meantime, though, the investigation continues tonight after six buses caught fire in a Capital City bus yard last night. The buses haven't moved for over a week. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh is live in Providence with the very latest on this. Kate? Well, I was just notified minutes ago by Teamsters Local 251 business agent Nick Williams that this tentative agreement has been reached, which could potentially end 11 days of the union strike against First Student Bus Company. Now, this was all over, really, retirement benefits. The union had been in disputes with the company for months, and they couldn't find common ground over this. The Teamsters demanded a deal that included a pension plan for the union bus drivers or no deal at all. The company would not offer a plan with a pension, offering instead a 401k. After several failed negotiations, we just learned this agreement has been reached. Earlier today, I spoke with First Student Spokesman Frank McMahon, who said they had been in phone conversations earlier today with the union, and they were hopeful that they would progress as the day progressed. So we're waiting to hear details on what this all might mean. All of this is going on as investigators continue trying to figure out what caused a fire here at the bus yard Thursday night that charged six buses and caused about half a million dollars worth of damage, according to the company. Officials are calling it suspicious in nature, but have not ruled it in arson. They are continuing to investigate that here, and we can actually see those buses behind us still this afternoon. Now, Frank McMahon of First Student Bus Company said that this tentative agreement was reached by the mayor's office, so we are awaiting a statement from both parties any minute now to give you updated information as to what this might mean especially for these bus drivers. Stay with us both on air and on our website at WPRI.com. Live in Providence, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News. Thank you. First reported live at 5, a tentative deal has been reached in the labor dispute that led to drivers walking off the job for more than two weeks. And the agreement comes less than 24 hours after a suspicious fire broke out at the school bus yard last night, damaging several buses. Eyewitness News reporter uh, Kate Walsh joins us now live from Providence with the breaking details. Kate? Well, here's what we know right now. We know that this tentative agreement was reached sometime this afternoon in Providence Mayor Jorge Alorza's office and first student just sent us a statement moments ago saying in part quote we've reached a tentative contract agreement today with Teamsters Local 251 that reflects our joint commitment to providing Providence students and families with safe and reliable school bus transportation and that they were appreciative of Mayor Alorza's involvement as well the city councils in these efforts. Now we're still awaiting details as to what this tentative contract could include especially in terms of retirement benefits. Day 11 of the Providence school bus driver strike could be the last. The Teamsters Union demanding for months that their next contract include a pension plan for its members. First Student Bus Company is saying they don't offer pension plans elsewhere and they wouldn't start offering one here. They instead offered a plan with a 401k package. No, Neither party would budge from demands, uh, causing negotiations to fail several times. When the union members voted to strike on Thursday, September 27th, more than 9,000 students had to walk, bike, or or find rides to school. Then Thursday night, a fire at the bus yard. Six buses charred. First student saying it cost them about half a million dollars in damage. Officials still investigating the cause of that fire, calling it suspicious, but not ruling it an arson. We do expect more details in the coming hours and days as far as what this means for the union bus drivers who have been on strike for 11 days and for the more than 9,000 families whose students have had to find other ways to school each day over the past 11 days. So be sure to stay with Eyewitness News both on air and on our website at WPRI.com for these breaking details. Live in Providence, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.